Yes, good job. No one, uh, <laughs> no weird disturbances this time. Good, good, great, great. Okay, so we're ready. No. Yeah. Shit, I didn't know we started here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, last time around, we had a little bit of a preparation and a bit of a fight. There was a significant amount of time spent moving around the camp, helping out a few people here and there, among which were Storm, who Uslia helped train some of the younger folk, in particular finding out that one of the uh, younger males, while good at archery, apparently cleft into some sort of a crying fit when Uslia <laughs> complimented him. <laughs> <laughs> Weird circumstances <laughs> ensued. Among the other ones, there were only one female individual as well, who seemed to be promising under the conditions of Uslia sprinting at them while they're trying to shoot him. So, <coughs> all in a good day's work, essentially. I've got to draw that. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> Show me! Show me! <laughs> I believe I mentioned last time they're both tabaxi, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something about right, because that should be great. Anywho, that was concluded. A lot of business around time town, rather. A lot of training had been done on your feats and such. Some drawing had been done, some <laughs> having a pretty big griffin just walking around town, being a little bit... Uh, how should I put this nicely? Inconspicuous, Adorable. I guess? Is this a sarcastic way of putting it? But, nevertheless, you... no incidents. So, you prepared for the next day when Cyrus and Yi was supposed to arrive or at the very least walk fairly close by the camp, wanting there to be no lethal or otherwise incidents when said individual was to arrive nearby or through the camps, you all met her out in the field. Having had... How did I forget her name? Having had Tachi fly around on Neil for a little bit, trying to scope out where Syrah was, you had a little bit of... A gathering, let's say, between the group of you planning on what to do. Tachi putting forward the plan of trying to dominate her so you can use her cleanse corruption spell on her subsequently was put in motion and most of the team set out to try and whittle down her magical defenses while just trying to keep her away from the squishies. The plan actually went out pretty well, even with a slight discovery from Calaseel that the spell magic had an effect that was not usually seen in this sort of circumstance. Something that she apparently would have dispelled caused Saya to use one of her magical resistances. Or rather be forced to. So, the fight ensued. Tempest and Uslia nearly died. And after having gone through the character sheet, realizing I made a slight mistake, both on the two hit and the damage of Saya, everything was concluded afterwards and everything was just Barely fine. Barely. <laughs> but, nevertheless, the fighting stopped at the point where Saya had been successfully dominated by Tachi, to the point where she, apparently, as part of the spell, was uh, indeed confirmed to be non-hostile anymore, as Tachi had full control over her because of the dominate spell, so Saya merely had a, a little bit of a walk over to Tachi, stood in front of her, at which point Tachi cast the Cleanse Corruption spell, expunging a massive cloud of black, shadowy stuff. You still don't mm. quite have any uh, anything done on this. You have no research on it just yet, despite having a little bit of a time period and the vial that were mentioned earlier in the campaign. But nevertheless, here we are with Sire and the rest of you in the middle of a desert. Not too far away from the camp, albeit. Currently, we have Krishma, who's holding on to Saya. Despite her not really fight fighting back at the moment, you all decided that precautions were necessary. So, we have Krishma, who has Saya in a, <laughs> a full Nelson from Dragon <laughs> Balls, essentially. Going full Piccolo. Well, I guess Goku on this, on the side. You have Tempest in front of her, keeping a sword to her neck. And Uslia, who I also believe was doing something along the same lines. No, uh, he's currently lying down on the floor, blinded. That was a request to do other helpful things, but he never shook the blindness. That's correct. 
Right. <laughs> Midori's just over him holding up fingers. Like, how many now? White. How many now? <laughs> how many now? Still white. What happened to your voice? Ah, you got the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, here we are. The ending of it was, while this uh, cleansing had been finished, Syrah immediately began to tear up and tears started streaking down her cheeks, and this is where we will begin once more. Syrah herself says nothing, but there is a a shift, let's say, in that aura that you found out you have, that very heavy presence that everything within a certain amount of feet, which you guesstimated to be around mm -hmm. 30, slash, the fucking battle map reveals it instantaneously, if I have to have it effective, people can calculate it very easily. But nevertheless, the aura itself appears to have become not heavy anymore per se, but just sort of a, like you're in a in a warm forest where the humid air just makes it kind of uncomfortable to be still heavy in a manner of speaking, but more like heavy with humidity. Tachi at this point puts a hand on Tempest's shoulder, who seems a little bit absent-minded for the time being, and <laughs> she addresses uh, Saya. Not through any words, you can see her mouth moves, but as part of the spell it seems like she currently has a telepathic link to Saya. After a moment of, let's call it conversing. Wow, nice, that's professional. Sorry, <laughs> it turned it off. It's on silent. After a moment of conversing between the two, telepathically, she turns to the group and goes, It appears that we do need to go back to the camp. This should be an interesting uh, story. Can I let her go? Is she still crazy or not crazy, but, you know, corrupted? Well, for the next ten-ish minutes, there'll be absolutely no incidents, as she has no possible way of breaking my domination. But after that, it's hard to say... Um, give me a second. She looks back at Saya, who immediately, very calmly, without even acknowledging the fact that she's been held, tries to go for Kuyu, who's still on her, uh, on her hip. It's currently in her scabbard. Still going for her? Okay. Oh. Uh, I actually do need you, Kushma, to roll me a athlete. No, this is just pure strength. Give me a strength check. Okay. Come on, character sheet. Your time. Load. <laughs> Tighten that, Nelson. It's been one week since I've been holding her. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> right, starting the position for a full week. I'm gonna add the body consideration. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I got a d12 from her. Oh no. 22. Whoa. Nice. Nice. Oh. That is nowhere near enough. What? What? <laughs> she rolled a 27 total. Damn it, oh man. Oh my god. Alright, alright. So, even with the calm motions that she's making, there is this substantial supernatural strength to her, and she just forces your arm down, takes Kuyu by the scabbard, and just sort of calmly hands it over to Tachi. Oh. Oh, that's not. Okay, I thought it was all worse. It's very calm motion the entire time, which makes it all the more embarrassing that she just moves your arm down. Look, it was a long fight that got hit in the head a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually true. You have a slight nosebleed as well from the number of times he smacked you in the face. I'm okay. Just hands right, like Kuyu to Tachi, who takes it and just sort of looks around, can't really put it anywhere. Produces through, I believe, prestidigitation or one of the other small spells can produce small objects. A little bit of string mm -hmm. attaches it to the belt. Well, for her, it's more like the edge of her skirt. Well, that should be at least one way of making it better. We just need to hope that she can't just... She can... She can bring it to her, can't you? Probably. I'll Maybe. place it somewhere mm -hmm. safe, then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I suggest that either Jan ask her questions now, which would be a little bit awkward, considering the... She looks at Kushma. Uh, circumstances. Looks down at Usalia, who's just about now, with time passing, would have shaken their blindness. So this does not seem like an opportune time, but we can indeed proceed with questioning now, if you so believe would be the smartest. It's up to you, really. I don't mind either way. Okay. We got any also, questions? Also, Usalia, how many fingers am I holding up now? I, I don't know how many fingers are you holding up. <laughs> <laughs> Five. 
Five. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, God. Yes, Tachi says. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Oh, um, <laughs> so what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. Ask questions, if we have any. We have any questions. Okay, first things first. Well, actually, no, this is probably an obvious answer, but why was she attacking us, other than being... Wait, no. No, we know. We know. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, it's okay. But that, that question, that's a silly question. Shall we walk and talk as we do this, so we get we... in the camp? Yeah. Okay. Flashy just sort of slowly head tilts towards Midori, like, are you actually gonna ask that? Well, no, because... I kind of know the answer. <laughs> I have a question. Are you sure oh. you do? We don't know any motivations, and we know, well, from Ask the spell it. at least, that something has happened. Ask any mm. question you wish, and for the um, next nine-ish minutes, it will answer. Zyra, uh, what happened within the last 50 years to you? The tears streaking down her cheeks have subsided. Mostly. You can still see the marks, and in the dry weather, they, it is cleaning, uh, clearing up quite quickly. There's a small <laughs> sniffle from her. And she turns her head slightly, her long hair just sort of falling down as well, because there's basically no motion anywhere. It does sort of drape over her shoulder as she looks in your direction. I do not remember much. There have been scars many places. Well, that's strange. How did you get our spells from us? She looks in your direction. You can see she has quite glintery, shimmering eyes. <laughs> Mostly from the tears, but looks at things at the moment. But nevertheless, I do not know what you mean. Do you remember fighting us before this? What do you mean? Before oh. today, or... Do you mean... Bef before today. The war? No. I do not recognize and she looks at Tati at this point. Any other view. She looks... A little... She looks taken aback. Like she's surprised at what she's seeing. Do you remember fighting us today? Uh, the other, this, yes, in a manner of speaking, I do, but not really. It is like when you wake up from a dream and you'd had some sort of nightmare ensuing, uh, nightmare in which you had combat. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Witherborn? The what? Do you know what a Witherborn is? Um, like a worm thing? Or like a Hot jellyfish thing? I get the distinct impression that we're not thinking about the same thing, but that I do my best. You're not talking about the thing among the stars, are you not? Oui. Most likely. Those are Witherborn? Well, that's what we named them. Uh, Do you know about the uh, guy that imprisoned you? Where we found you? Uh, no. Weird sand dude, no. Dragon the man? The recollection that I have was on top of the mountain creating a scar. Uh, can you repeat that, John? Sorry. The last memory she has is being on top of a mountain creating a scar. A scar? What, what do you mean? You created a scar? Inst the one that we sealed instructions off. Instructions from the thing in the stars were to create scars among the world. In such a fashion that his soldiers could go through. Can you repeat the without an accent? Sorry. Fuck's sake. Sorry! <laughs> the instructions were for her to create scars so the thing among the so the thing among the stars could move its soldiers through. Through to where? This it was. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, so thing the thing among the stars is... Could you let me go, by the way? Yeah, push my letter. Yeah, go. no, no, of course. This Thank is you. kind of weird. Um, she gives a small head <laughs> bow, showing that she actually has manners. It's yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Just hugging her. The this... <laughs> so yeah, cute. the thing amongst the stars. Is this some kind of entity? Some kind of creature? You said it had soldiers. In that manner of speaking, yes. It is a powerful thing. It seems to be covering some amount of power over, well, people like me. Those of us who shine. Shine? You yes, mean like beacons? beacons? Yes, beacons. And I've heard this word before, and this person that I do not remember the name of wrote the book on the shining, and it was not really that good. The shining? I've read that book. I haven't. Interestingly enough, it apparently was written about us. Well, do you remember speaking. the name of the person? That wrote the book? We. Oui. Stephen King. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Ruth. <laughs> Sorry. That was the reference. Good job. <laughs> but maybe it's really a book that we can find and might give us a hint. <laughs> but it was one massive reference, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing of importance. <laughs> Deleting that from my notes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky's like, The Shining by Stephen King. Must research this later. <laughs> <laughs> Just see Calisil, like come sprinting into Midori's room like, That's a scary book. <laughs> <laughs> you sure it's not called The Shining? <laughs> she looks at you. No, that's a very different I, I don't understand. I'm going. I'm going to see myself out. <laughs> Just starts walking away. Mm. I made a reference. I embedded references. I don't understand what the reference was. It was the Simpsons referring the the Shining in a, a three or four hour episode. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. I watch Simpsons. Mm -hmm. so, anywho, back to the game. I do not know the name of this thing in the stars. I know only that it is powerful and very. Uh, what's the word? Not persuasive, but overtaking. Possessive. When was the last time you saw Corin? At the mention of his name, there's a slight smile to her, and then oh, no. a distinct sadness. Oh, I, should, I shouldn't have asked that question, I'm sorry. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. He remains in my memory as the last person that I saw, but among the last people, there were soldiers. Around nope. the time that... Uh, I need to look up my name. We were defending our largest city. We got split up. With Cora. That's it. Uh, no, she's... Where, where was your largest city? Uh, in the middle of the continent. Around... Two to three weeks of travel away from Amon. I... I, I, uh, I opened the... Uh, middle map that we have, of the middle of the continent. Alright, she points straight at Wilkins Landing. Mm -hmm. And then immediately looks confused. Ah, uh, right. So that one. Time has passed, yes. How much time? You mentioned 50 years. About 50 years. We. Oui. Huh. She looks down at herself and starts inspecting her own body for a moment, looking at her hands, her arms. You don't right. look a day older, apparently. Maybe the influence of that creature? That... She just looks visibly confused at this point. Starts no wiping one... her uh, tear-stained cheeks for a moment. No yes. one's seen or heard anything from you and Corin in 50 years, so... Yeah. We so just he's still shoot. alive. Well, well, we don't uh, know. All signs pointed uh, to his death, I'm sorry to say. Okay. 
Uh, but unfortunately, I've always believed that this would be the case in the short moments, but their hope uh, was nice. Mm. When we uh, when we learned from uh, of your fate, we also had hopes, but we tried uh, sending him messages or skying on him, but we didn't find anything. <laughs> she looks a little bit confused at the magical mentionings, and still, there's like a shadow of it that she understands, but she's not versed in it. Alright, okay. Um, do you happen to know where his uh, place is? No, I don't. Mm. I mean, uh, touchy? Yeah. Uh, touchy has been just watching, paying attention mm -hmm. to whoever has been talking to the, the town that's been passing. She seems to think for a moment in response, but I'm not exactly sure where that would be. There's not really any way to narrow it down either. Depends on where his movements were, and for that we need to find some sort of log, perhaps, mm. or otherwise magical uh, entries that could tell us where he was last. Although I know of no such spell. But the people in Corin's exile had no idea. I mean, this place may, uh, is called it for a reason, I assume. <coughs> well, you must understand that, from what I've been told, anyway, I wasn't exactly present for this. The beast tribes, if they've been named, were beaten back quite badly. So a lot of ground mm -hmm. has been lost, meaning that effectively Corrin could have died, excuse me, uh, within weeks of travels from here. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult to tell. I mean, there is one thing I can try, <coughs> but for that to... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you okay, John? I'm fine. Okay. Um, but... Uh, I can try to use some magic, maybe to f uh, figure out uh, more legends about him and more stories about him. Maybe those will give us a hint at his final resting place. But for this to have the best chances at succeeding, I would <coughs> need you, to, uh, you, uh, Zaira, to tell me all that you know about him. The more information I have about the person, the more accurate my information will be that I get from magic. Um, that is certainly a admirable cause, but also very private. I totally understand that. The offer sent. And it just took on your accent, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just uh, keep it in mind. Okay, um, I will. At this point, the rest of you, uh, while uh, Saya is looking away, Tachi seems to be giving all of you small hands uh, and um, what's called motions, seeming seemingly depicting a number of minutes. Oh. I think she's we'll counting down. Mm -hmm. Should we tell her? What? That we have a spell on her. <laughs> when you're saying yeah. that, uh, I'd actually like you to roll me a stealth check for that. <laughs> Should we tell her? <laughs> <laughs> Walking right next to her, trying to be stealthy about it. I actually need to check her perception to know if she heard that. That's cool. <coughs> uh, she... Might have. Also, who are you talking to when you said it? Uh, kind of just whispering it not to her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's there? Should we tell her? I mean, she's gonna find out either way, right? Mm. Yeah, soften the blow. Hopefully. Defensive measures. I'm gonna tell her. Um, Zaira. Uh huh. 
you know we were fighting not too long ago, right? Not really, no. Well, we were. Some you were kind of not yourself as you were, as you are now. Um, you know, we had to like kind of. We could tell something was wrong with you. And we were trying to help you. We kind of had to subdue you in some form. That's why I had you in like the full Nelson for a bit. Sorry again. Uh, that's been taken off now, but there is something else we'll have to take off soon as well. Um, we cast some form of domination spell just to initially placate you, but when that ends, just know that we've had all this time to talk and we haven't taken advantage of that magic used. We're trying to be friends still. The just let you know that's all. Go ahead and roll me persuasion, and I'll give you advantage. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is all we're talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should have held on to the inspiration. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> oh, you're not good with words, Kushma. It's one of those you moments know. where Kushma starts talking and Tempest he opens his mouth and goes, ah, never mind. <laughs> Shame. It's not quite present enough. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> present. <laughs> yes, thanks, Ruth. She <laughs> 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 looks in your duration and just sort of nods. Just you confirmation. Won't. You're going to find out anyway. I thought it proper to tell you. Do you have any urges <clears throat> to hurt us right now? Not particularly, no. You can put me in a full house if you'd like. No, that's Why are you weird. telling her that? <laughs> that sounds fair. weird. <laughs> no, not like that. Jesus. You're making it quite awkward. Right, sorry. But she she knows how to fight. I don't think you <laughs> I don't think you want her to do that. Yes, speaking rough. Why can I not have Kuyu? Because you tried to kill us with it. I did? Yes. Uh, first of all, her. Sorry. I didn't want to assume it's gender, so I just went with... Her? Yeah. Yeah, okay, her. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry! Second... I do not see why they would want to keep my weapon, but for the time being, if I have a guarantee that I'll get her back, I do not mind. We're not gonna steal her from you. You will get her back. Oh, I do not mm. believe that that would even be possible. But I would just prefer to be... What was the word? Friendly. Did, do you remember... Because we, we were the ones that found Kiyu. Do you remember... Us giving it back to you. I remember a shock of awakening after a long time. And a sense of familiarity. Ah. Other than that, not in particular, no. I'm just gonna whisper to you, sir. I think she doesn't remember about the people's help, but that's good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll a Stella's check for that whispering. <clears throat> if I can get out of a headlock, you can get out of people's elbow. Don't do it. Don't worry. You got it. <laughs> just loading the character sheet. You uh, you read what's Tempest just wrote? Tempest's giving words of encouragement. Hmm. Can I have advantage on that, please? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> Anyone who can do Timbers' accent? Because I've forgotten how to do French. Oh. Nope, can't do good French. <laughs> I, if, I'm not even going to attempt it, it will be very bad. <laughs> you know how my French goes. Uh. Yes, but you can actually speak French, Vicky. A bit. Oh shit, you can speak French? A bit. That's more than me. So um, in this case, we'll just do it like this then. Hmm? Ho ho ho! No, we no, just... no. <laughs> no, 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 no! no. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no, no, no! 
I can always just imposter that I'm Tempest Togo. That's in chat. <laughs> she, at the mention of that, looks around and notices that it's on Tachi's hip, but doesn't make any particular motions for it or otherwise. <laughs> I'll take that as a joke from you, Togo. Otherwise, roll attack! Which I don't think you can right now. So, anywho. Please don't. Do you not remember where you left it last? <clears throat> Before you lost it? Uh, from what I, what I remember, Kuri has been with me for a very long time. I trained with her when I back in the army was supposed to help out with the war efforts, but before that and after that I do not recall. Because we found her as a spear. That would make sense. Why would it make sense? Could you do us have transformative and it's about this time that uh, well in all fairness, the champ should have worn off for longer, but, you know, mm -hmm. in-game, out-game. But now that it wears off, and she does look a little bit suspicious suddenly, turns to Tachi and just gives her a bit of a scowling look. Then returns to the conversation. She has transmutative properties and can become pretty much any weapon. If properly sorted, she'll become whatever it is the most efficient for the person wielding her. Mm. I don't know if you knew anyone that would be a favorite for spears that might have used it after you. Uh, there are a number of cases that could be useful, but most of them are groups, not person. Not so. anyone close to you you could think of? At the mention of that, she does look a little bit guarded suddenly. No. Uh, insight check. John, I have a question. Go on. In the vision I had from uh, Kuyo, do I remember uh, if Corin had any weapons on him, and if so, which kind? I, I believe it was mentioned, but I would have to check my note to find out. Give me a sec. Mm hmm. One second, I need to double check and be sure. Okay, turns out that that is part of the notes I've written by hand. So, I will simply say that it was not visible. Any mm -hmm. weapons on Corrin was not... I just remember uh, that he was... Or, go on. He was mentioned to be a monk type. Oh, that was the hint I didn't want to give away, but yes. Could I roll an insight? Go ahead. Yeah. Anyone who wants to roll insight on that uh, yeah, pause same. of hers can go ahead and do yeah. it. I just want to see if she seemed like she was lying nope. or withholding information. I believe her. Whoa! Usually <laughs> just stares into her soul, <laughs> rips it out of her. <laughs> well, she actually only just about succeeds. Oh, Chris does hell. nothing outside combat. What, what is this woman? <laughs> I mean, he succeeds by a fair margin, but. The crit doesn't exactly do too much to bonus it. No. Mm. As for mm. everybody else, you notice that there was a pause given, but not really any mm -hmm. indication for it. For Uslia, it's not like you suddenly know everything about her, but she definitely is withholding information. Mm. Not lying per se or anything like that, she's just, she, do, she knows more. She's cautious. Yes. That's a good word. Good word. Mm -hmm. Right, well, uh, maybe we should head back to, uh, Corrin's Exile. You've been walking this entire time. Also, Sorry, we have them. Are you still alive? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, uh, a bit hazy. I mean, to be fair, Usli does look beaten, bloody-nosed, mostly cut to pieces, is covered in scars from her, attack, her attacks. 
two hundred damage last would, would you like? Would you like some a, a potion? It's fine. Just rest. Yeah, mm. we all need a break. Uh, also, Tempest said he would mention where we found the Kuyo. Uh, right, that is weirdly awkward with this setup. Yeah, so there was the ruins, there was the guy there that was very dead. He had the spear, it fought us, it was kind of still alive. The old guy is being dudes, you know. It was, it was an el like... elvish. It was the elvish ruin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One where Midori went on an acid trip, pretty much. Mm. <laughs> the place was definitely haunted by the our worldly creatures. It's also <laughs> the creatures or the effects. Their effects. We couldn't even. It took us forever to enter the place because we were stuck in our head. She looks uh, curious at the mention of stuck in your head, but also seems like she understands, given recent yeah. events. <coughs> yeah, it was quite scary. So there is a good chance that could you have been all around the place ever since she was in my custody. Uh, highly likely. It's a dangerous weapon, so it would make sense that the, uh, um, the Riverborn would try to corrupt people and make use of it. Mm. She adds nothing more to the conversation and continues walking. She does, by the way, walk at a quite fast pace, to the point where only Tachi and Kushma has the natural walking speed to keep up. Actually, no, Uslia no, walks fast as well, I forgot. You have a uh, faster movement speed as well. So I'm, on a, I'm on the a I'm on a horsey. I'm jogging. You mean I'm Neil. on a griffin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll assume for the sake of it that Tempest is also with Neil. Yes. Or Neil, rather. Yeah. <clears throat> I am not gonna cast Levitate on myself, because I will just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could cast Levitate on yourself and just hold on to uh, Neil's uh, tail. <laughs> Just that mental mm. image is so dumb, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Neil does seem a little bit displeased with this, and effectively just sw <laughs> swats her around like she's a balloon. He's just playing with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let go, Manori. I'm so confused. Saya actually looks around, and takes a look at Midori, what she's doing, and just sort of smiles to herself. Doesn't say anything, but continues walking. A number of hours will pass before you get back to Corrin's exile, <coughs> unless oh. someone wants to ask him more stuff on the way, or if you're gonna wait, that will be fine too. Um, I don't think I have any questions right now that I know. I don't think mm. of anything off the top of my head. I have a lot of questions after the session is over, and I remember all the stuff that I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you write down, I guess. So, no. a little bit of time would pass as you return to Corrin's exile. Let's just hop over here. The Corrin's exile itself does seem like they've been preparing for some sort of event. The fact that you guys have been on such high alert and Sachi was scouting at the top of the city via Neil's flight definitely did not go unnoticed. It doesn't take you too too long to find the aforementioned storm walking around and essentially ready. The handle that is on her the bracelet, the one that just sort of dangles and be becomes a weapon, it's not in her hand per se, but she's holding the bottom of it. It does appear like she can handle it without actually creating the bow, but she is definitely ready. Upon seeing the rest of you, she doesn't really do much. She keeps distance and just sort of watches you as Tachi starts leading, leading all of you towards her main building, where her office is and presumably other things that she owns. Yes? I have a dumb question. Go ahead. Uh, do I see any family resemblance between Storm and uh, Saya? 
just for the fun of it, let me make a perception check. Mm. 16. You are fairly confident that you do not. Okay. There are distinct, uh, let's call them markings, that depict them being from different parts mm -hmm. of the woodlands. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that all cat girls look alike. Apparently they don't. So I call them cat girls, that's sort of meaning. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Water boy. <laughs> Poor Choco can't even defend himself properly right now. <laughs> well, he shouldn't throw fire then. <laughs> That's true. But no, it does not appear like they okay. have family resemblance. You're walking towards the bigger uh, building. At this point, Storm actually starts following you. Keeping a bit of an eye on Midori, who's still being carried around by Neil, having to recast and levitate from time to time, but she doesn't weigh anything once he's doing it, so Neil doesn't particularly mind and just sort of plays with her when she's flying around behind him. <laughs> hey, Storm, how's uh, it going? <laughs> 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 Things are fine, thank you. Uh, what are you doing? I'm levitating. If I let go, I'll just keep going, so I'm just gonna hold on for now. I know this looks weird. Right. Mm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to drop the levitation spell. Oh <laughs> I, don't, I don't even need to do this anymore. It was just fun. <laughs> you will slam to the ground because gravity suddenly works and pull on Neil's tail doing so. I'm just like, I don't even need to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heavy thud behind the group and Neil gives a little bit of a motion suddenly as in he's been startled by something. <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have sandy teeth now. <laughs> Midori, why? <laughs> I. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> right, uh, get up on your feet. Storm walks over and actually helps you up. Offers you a hand. Thank you. That was, um. weird. Yeah. At this point, you're entering the building, and instead of leaving, leading you to her office, Tachi actually leads you to a bit further back in the building, where a large room is... <laughs> I'd say a large room is spacious, but that's sort of a given. The spacious room in the back of the building appears to have a number of pillows laying out on the floor. <coughs> as in, like, they're pretty big, like 2 by 2 meters pillows. Stuff that you, you usually would lie on, sit on, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The room itself is decorated in such a fashion that you can pretty much sit or lie anywhere in the room and be kind of comfortable. There are a number of not quite benches, but essentially seating places that would work much like a bench up against the walls. Most of them have a number of pillows at them or with them and they're covered in a fairly nice looking fabric. The entire room itself appears like a lounging area that Tachi has made for herself some time ago, or recently, it's hard to tell because of magic. But nevertheless, it, it's just a fairly large room. It's maybe... 15 by 15 meters big. It's a bit strange, but looks cozy. There's a distinct waffle of fresh flowers as well as you walk in. You get a distinct impression that this place has some magic going on in some capacity or another. Tachi enters and gives you all a courtesy go ahead sort of hand motion and lets you all just file into the room. There's a table in the center of it. It's fairly big, fairly round. It's not particularly high off of the ground, so those big pillows that are around seem to be meant to be pulled closer so you can sit down either on your knees, on the ground itself, or on your butt on the pillows, or a combination thereof. She herself walks around it and just sort of sits and beckons people to sit around. So, is there anything that I can offer all of you? Drinks? Food, perhaps? I think Tempest would like a pillow. Hmm, I think he does. <laughs> See Tempest sort of just walk off to one of the corners and face plant what? a pillow. <laughs> Is this... wait. Weird question. Does this room look aerated? <laughs> like... If I were to pull out the hookah pipe right now... <laughs> <laughs> you could have hotbox the room. <laughs> no! I don't want to fucking choke people out. I want it to be aerated. There are, are windows, windows and there's no glass in said windows. The temperature of this room is very much similar to that of outside, but there's windows, yes. Uh, Tachi, mm -hmm. do you mind if I 
you know, it's kind of it's a stressful day, you know. Puka? I do not know. Wrong accent. I do not know, but if you feel like you need to indulge, go ahead. I'll keep by the window. Don't worry. Can I have some? Sure, sure! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, Tachi just says and looks at Midori. What? <laughs> what? Never mind. It's, it's just who It's fine. Good stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Don't mind me. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so you go and sit on one of the benches nearby the window. There is a nice atmosphere to it. The seating is soft, despite clearly being made from either sandstone or wood. There is a cushioning to it. It's kind of nice. You sit down and just have a relaxing time. Hell yeah. Uh, the rest of you who are around the table, you're still offered something by Tachi. Do you request anything of her? Just water. Yeah, um, do you have any strong spirits? <laughs> oh my. I do indeed. Excuse me for about a moment. So get up again <laughs> and walk to one of the corners of the room where there is essentially no decoration, no seating whatsoever, and just vanishes. <laughs> Damn. You just had to do that when Midori is muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So he comes back a few moments later, holding uh, an assortment of drinks. One of them is just a container that seemed to hold some crystal clear water. It looks oh. kind of nice, and you can see there is a distinct, uh, what's it called, fog on the glass itself of the container, suggesting that it's quite cold. Versus the heat around you. She puts it on the table and puts out two glasses, and hands over a, a smaller bottle of... <laughs> Fairly hard liquor to. Kush, not Kush, my two was Leah. Who's there will take the bottle and then just start dousing his wounds. Fuck in you. The <laughs> 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 gotcha! Well, she's not even here, so the funniest part of it is lost. <laughs> oh, I am here! I am here! I, I thought. I, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought I was muted, so I muted myself. Good job. And I was like, oh my god, it's happening! <laughs> No. Good job. So, d doesn't that hurt? Yeah, it stings, but it's clean again. <laughs> you know what would help ease the pain? No. Having a swig? Just no. He just carries on cleaning himself. No. Cleaning his wounds out, <laughs> cleaning the sand out. Oof. Ooh, sand and wound. Uh, uh, need a looks... hand? It's need fine. some bandages? I'll, some snacks? I'll live. Puka? No, it's fine. So close. <laughs> I'm just going to turn back to <laughs> Kushmar like, damn it. <laughs> Taji does look at the scene and looks a bit surprised and just mentioned, oh, so that's what you wanted to use a bottle of silver drops for. Okay. Yeah. That Wait, sense. no, it doesn't have silver in it, does it? <laughs> No, no. That is a, <laughs> the brand name of it. It's a fairly powerful, not powerful, fairly strong alcoholic drink. Actually tastes quite well. <gasps> Especially if it. you have a bit of citrus and some salt nearby. It, it enhances the taste. My dog do not lick Uzunia's wounds. No, no, no. I was just thinking, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you were <laughs> thinking that. Totally no, no, right. no. <laughs> Is it, won't it get into his bloodstream if he's pouring on his wounds? I'm saying that apparently. <laughs> not, not enough for me to get drunk. No. <laughs> he just said, no. He's that much of a lightweight. He's suddenly like. <laughs> 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 That's why he doesn't drink. <laughs> Better alcohol than sand. True. <laughs> Sire actually asks for a small drink that uh, Tachi also had brought, naming some kind of liquid that uh, I cannot find in my notes, hence why it's taking so long. I do not remember the damn name of it, and apparently I have it in the wrong section of my notes, but that's fine. From what you can gather, it's a type of white wine. Interestingly enough, Tachi does produce a glass of it. And Sai mm. just sits within sips. Looks a bit, looks pleased. Just sort of smiles at Tachi. 
Uh, okay, so Tachi begins. Sire, could you tell us what anything really that you remember? At which point Sire looks around at the rest of you and seems like she's less deterred than she was earlier. I actually do need everybody in here to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, for no. fuck's sake. Yay. Poop. Ah. Woohoo! Wow, I rolled a seven. You <laughs> need to do Tempest. I'm going to sleep now. Right. Good fucking night. Uh, da -da -da -da, Tempest. I should probably just keep the sheet open for the time being. Mm. Use a character sheet for a while. Wisdom save. Uh, I guess. No. Fairly nothing. What? Wait, I'm, I'm giving me as arcane deflection. I assume I failed, so I have plus four on this, but I think Spurton still doesn't save. Not even close. Okay. No one saves from this effect. Oh. Not even Midori? <laughs> Jesus. Remember when we were in the fight and I hinted at how high Tachi's DC is? <coughs> yeah, yeah. That's Holy why. Macaroni. Fair enough. I All mentioned right. earlier that Tachi has made this room. <sighs> okay. okay. Immediately, no one has any idea that any save has been made whatsoever. None of you have a clue. But Saya, sitting across the table from Tachi at the moment with her glass of presumably just a kind of white wine, takes a sip of it, <coughs> another sip rather of it, and just looks at a glass for a moment until she starts speaking. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is really dry today. There has been a time that I do not remember what has happened. You tell me that it has been 50 odd years since the war for the continent happened against the Vedanians that invaded us. I do not remember these years passing. I do, however, remember on occasion seeing a... a... let's call it a formation among the stars resembling that of a creature that is more associable to the humanoids that we see here in... well, our plane. <coughs> there is creature possessive, not in the manner that it keeps items, but in the manner that it takes minds, has been all I really remember for the last very long time, asking me to perform certain acts to create scars in certain places, among which the already mentioned mountain that I referred to earlier. From the Do you have Sorry. Yes. Do you remember uh, which mountain is it was? I have no clue. I remember yes, only yes. that it was on top of a mountain. Uh, I can guesstimate if you have a map of the region that you expected to be in. I g uh, gave her the map of the western part of the continent. Okay. She will point, and as I will bring out the map as well to show. Does she point towards Corbury near that area? She points to four mountains. Okay. This one. This Is one. this the w mm -hmm. This one. And this one. Mm. Was the first mountain that was where I closed the thingy, right? Yes. <coughs> that was here. Yeah. Okay. I do not know which of these it was, and I know that the terrain well, gathering from the map it would be very hilly. It is hard for me to tell exactly where it will be. Hmm. But in that region, if that would help in your understanding of what that has happened. Uh, I'm getting the distinct impression that you know more than I do in this particular well, subject. Uh, on this mountain you see here, near Corbury, that's where we found the weird link between the mountain and um, among uh, among uh, among then i broke it, broke it 
So that might have been your garden. The link or Amon then? Yeah, it, will, it linked that place to Amon then. No, I mean, did, did you destroy the link or Amon then? I destroyed the link. That would make more sense. Yeah. Right. There is a good chance that that was the thing that I was ordered to make. I do not understand how most of the magic that works in this world. I just changed accent. Works, but I have no idea how it would possibly uh, affect the area. I have no idea. I just know that there are locations throughout the world that I've been at that I vaguely remember doing well, something. Mm. Using magic that I did not know I had. Mm. She looks a bit. Uh, like she suddenly realized something and just looks at her wine for a moment. It is very similar in fact to how I know some other spells that I know now. I do not understand why I understand these spells, but their connection is not broken, is it? See at this point, uh, pulls up one of her hands and quite obviously in clear view of everybody performs the slight I believe it's somatic only for Eldritch Blast <coughs> mm -hmm. uh. <coughs> oh, right, it's verbal and somatic <coughs> she performs, the, uh, performs set uh, verbal and somatic uh, motions and words for Eldritch Blast and just pours out the energy that it would be straight into one of the nearby walls well, oh, nearby cool. windows she aimed for, but she missed and hit the wall instead, with one of the beams. Three beams in total are fired. Two of them disperse out in the air. This, for instance, I do not know why I know the spell. I just do. I think you got it from me. We... We have realized that the Bitterborn uh, have a tendency to be able to cast the magic that we cast against them. So they're learning from us, and since they, we assume they corrupted you, that's what we uh, got out of you after our fight. We cleansed you from that, or as much as we could from that corruption. They gave you those powers as well then. So you freed me from this influence of the thing among the stars? As much as we could, but apparently some things remain if you are still able to cast the magic that was bestowed upon you. That may be true. This uh, thing that you did to me, can you repeat it? At this point, Taji just nods and says, Yes, it's not that difficult of a spell. Although not many would be able to cast it. She gives a uh, acknowledgement wink in Killer's heels uh, direction. Mm. Not Midori at the moment, because she's in a different part of the room and she doesn't want to wink to half the room. <laughs> can Midori hear this conversation? Doing. You all can. You're all within range of it. The room is, while big, not exactly uh, soundproof. I'm just going to turn to Kushma and like, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but do you think she's asking that so she can learn the spell? I'm not exactly deaf, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to be quiet. And as for learning it, it is possible that if I've already learned some spells from you, that I can learn spells from anyone. And if that is indeed the case, then I could cleanse myself and others at any given time. Assuming, of course, that the spell facilitates this. Yeah. <laughs> this one Taichi just looks a little bit... Like she, it's a thing that no one has ever considered. Granted, Taichi made the spell. But she had clearly hadn't considered the fact that you could use it on yourself, or would it even be possible? You spellcaster to spellcaster, you kind of get this feeling of she didn't really consider that. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's probably good if we can spread that around to trusted people. Tachi nods and just just nods and then beckons. Uh, Saya to continue her uh, explanation mm -hmm. slash story. <coughs> uh, I'm afraid that I do not know much more than this, but I can at least give you uh, 
are a couple of locations. Memory does uh, return bit by bit. Mm -hmm. There is a place, a dark area. I would imagine that it is to the west in the continent. A place that is near to something gigantic. Uh, I'm putting both maps down that we have, middle and west. And she points to the base of the world leader corpse. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll just bring the three maps up so we can do this a bit more smoothly. So if you're looking to the west, she will point at this area where you also, on, the f on both maps that you have, well, the map you have and this map that we're using for the game, there is mm -hmm. also mentioned a fort there, a large settlement is uh, located in the map. Am I pinging the right map even? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we see mm -hmm. it. Well, just because I didn't see it on my other screen, then realized it was because it was on a different map. Mm -hmm. They had the same area. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was in the yeah. singular. There is a place in that area that I'm fairly certain that I've been at and created such a scar. And in the frozen regions to the east, Mm. There would be one in the world split rapture. Well, can you repeat that without accent again? Sorry. <laughs> there would be one in the world split rapture. World split rapture. World splitter. It's on the map. Oh, world splitter. <laughs> we don't have a map for that, though. So. I can't. No. You, ha you can use the map for a context, I guess, but technically the characters do not have a map, no. Uh. Easter. There is a very high possibility that there are significantly more, but I do not know there are precise locations. It would not surprise me if there are more in these obscure areas, like at the waveform cliffs. Waveform cliffs? Yes. Where is that? If you look at the map, it's at the very northeast. It's the entire coast where the cliffs have been formed oh. up like a massive wave, presumably from the force of the particular part of the uh, continent being pushed out from whatever happened at the world of split rupture. Yeah. For those who might not know, Cyrus will also explain this as the group doesn't seem to understand that particular fact because none of you have been there. Every mountain range that is on that very eastern coast, as in the complete eastern coast, Every mountain there essentially is ground that have been pushed up by force and perform this wave-like motion inland from some excessive force, presumably the water. Mm. Hence the name of wave form cliffs. My guess is would be that there are some in locations that are hard to reach, so the thing under the stars can easy, easily get its soldiers to the world without really being interrupted. Mm -hmm. Judging by how long this has been going on, it appears to be necessary for it to spend a lot of time in this plane, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But we don't know like what its plan is. We just know it wants to like send its soldiers in, fuck shit up. There is a very high possibility. <laughs> this is me guessing upon the connection that has kept me clouded for all these years that this thing wants to get through it wants to arrive in our reality the whole thing likely Shit. i do not know if this is really possible the sense that i have from this creature is immense it's gonna need one big scar definitely that or just enough for thin uh, passing location I guess that is what all the scars are for, to weaken the link, so to speak. The link that you probably already have made contact with. I, um, this might be a stupid question, but what do you know about the two moons? The fame moon and the normal moon? Uh, not too much. There has been a very long time before someone has uh, traveled to that, uh, that location. But what do you mean? <laughs> she looks confused at your question. What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean travel to that location? The moon. You can travel to the moon? 
It is not impossible if you have sufficient magical capabilities of hurt and with enough provisions and enough uh, space brought with you, you can easily get the land back. Provided that you have the required, well, things. <coughs> One could there is an old have I ever heard of that? Go ahead and roll me a history check. Or a karma, <coughs> it's up to you. Yeah. Um, history or Arcana, both are good. <laughs> Every I time. say, and draw a six. Every time, 15. every time, fucking hell. I'm a local wizard, I know nothing. <laughs> because the guys hate me. I mean, a 15 isn't it's bad, still pretty but good. it's still... It's not terrible. Yeah. You... <clears throat> Excuse me, god damn my throat. You do remember us coming ac across some theories here and there. And there are theories that it isn't impossible whatsoever to get to any moon <laughs> within orbit. Uh, so I've never heard of that. That's not what I said, no. Sorry. Getting distracted by Tempest, I'm guessing. Yes, I was reading that, sorry. Repeat, <laughs> please. Great. Point is that yes. you found some research here and there. <coughs> some theories and such that indicate that it is indeed possible to travel to the moon. It is not impossible whatsoever. The issue that people have come across is the necessary travel to even get there. First of all, it's a very long distance, so you need to have enough momentum to carry you there. The research you found, found that this spell fly is sufficient. Trouble is that you need to cast it a lot of times to get out far enough for the emptiness of space to carry you by itself. That's not the only issue. Once you get to said location, the theories and the uh, research that you find on the subject is that once in space, you actually carry a lot of air with you. While in real life, we have a massive vacuum and an incredibly deadly space, in D&D it's actually quite different, and this is what you learn from the uh, notes. For instance, so you can travel through it. It works much in the same way with no gravity, not no gravity, no um, a zero g, how it works in real life. The difference just is that when you leave the atmosphere of the material uh, material uh, plane that you're on, ergo, the Earth, it has several names, war leader, etc, so uh, etc, et et you bring a pocket of air with you. The pocket becomes bigger, the bigger you and whatever you are uh, surrounded by is. So if you bring a house, you'll bring significantly more air to survive in. So if I cast it levitate and just let it do its thing, I think you it would has an inevitably to miss the moon. But yes, <laughs> into space. Just, just keep going. <laughs> Good. Yes, because that effectively could is I synergy. fly with my wings up there? In theory, uh, there is the issue of exhaustion. But if you if you just ignore stuff like exhaustion and having time mm. and you know stuff like that, then yes. Okay. There would be very little detrimental effect to doing that. There would be no benefit, really, per se, to doing it either, but you wouldn't immediately die upon exiting uh, mm -hmm. the atmosphere. Because you bring it with you, essentially. I could build a hot air balloon. Would not work. A zeppelin. Damn it. Can we build a zeppelin? Would not work. Oh. There are limits to it, but there are ways to propel yourself through space. Mm -hmm. Point is this that it is possible. Ow! I turned my head. <laughs> <laughs> Our information overload. Uh, no. Um, okay. Midori just is like smoking the pipe now. She's like, just turns to Kushma. Dude, we can go to the moon. We could go to the moon. Um, but mm -hmm. going back to it, what do you know about the same moon? Anything interesting? Anything weird? Did Anything I'm... that might indicate that it is a giant prison for something? That it's all this specific. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could carve legend law on the moon. Uh, oh <clears throat> shit! Good. Do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> Maybe. That goes into the notes. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. I feel a bit disrupted, but okay. <laughs> Do not know of this spell. She proceeds to explain you the things that you already know about the moon. Okay. The very common facts that, you know, 
fey creatures mm -hmm. in general like looking at it. It doesn't really shed light whatsoever. It doesn't bounce light. All these yeah. factors that you already know. Okay. So nothing has changed in 50 years about it. Okay. Mm. Alright. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any more idea. Uh, and more information than on this. Mm -hmm. The rest of my time under uh, uh, captivity is Hi. blank. Fuzzy? No. It's more as in there are, there are powerful forces that can force you to become the backseat. That does not work. Uh, <laughs> a backseat carriage driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best way to mention that. Which means that the person who's actually at the reins would be the one uh, steering the the uh, caravan. But there is also the risk mm -hmm. of falling off and forever losing yourself. Mm. That uh, I'd have been close to, I suspect. But the hope of seeing Corrin actually kept me from doing this. Like these. She looks touchy at this point. What helped this one? She says with a little bit of spite in her voice. Prayed mm -hmm. upon to bring me back. Mm. Touchy shrugs. It worked. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Hmm. Where did, she looks at Taji at this point. Where do I sleep? And Taji looks back and says, Well, we'll get to that. And we'll finish our talk here. And then we'll... Well, I'll show you a place... A suitable location that you can rest. Saya just nods. At this point, she's well, finished her wine. What we figured out today is that there are many different locations where there are scars. This thing among the stars wants to kind of use them to weaken the like, link between worlds and through. <sighs> okay. Do we have like a deadline on when he does that? Is there a limit on how we get before he just goes? I have no idea. But I suspect there are more of these rifts, these issues, these tears that you handle in the way that you described earlier the longer it'll take. Considering mm. that I do not know of these creatures, yet they are clearly been around for a long time, it does not seem that there is time pressure. And if there was, I'm fairly certain that I would have been capable of bringing him through. My powers are uh, useful with Kuyu. Mm. Then maybe he's waiting for something. There is a likely possibility of it, yes. But if we can... Well, if you can't disrupt these efforts... Well, more for personal, personal reasons at this point, I would very much like you to do so. It would uh, please me greatly. Gladly. Oh, and if I could be a help of this particular uh, project, I will do so. Gladly. But of mm. course, I have a thing to settle for myself. With the uh, Vedanians? Not exactly, no. They'll get what they're coming, but they have coming to them soon enough, I'm sure, she says, looking at Tachi. Giving off the information that she uh, apparently has learned a bit about Tachi already by just having that connection earlier. Mm -hmm. It seems that there's a new effort that is about to be made against the Vedanians and the Vulcan's Landing, so that is good to know. But I, for my part, I have other things that I would like to know first. That is fair. So, what's that? Do you have any more questions? Otherwise, I would very much like to get Kuyu back and go find my old husband, it's a grave. Hmm. Oh. I don't have anything to keep you. Uh, I don't think we have any questions right now. I mean, I also can cast a sending message to you every once in a while if you don't mind. 
So he's confused. You can what? I can cast the uh, ascending spell, which means I can send you telepathically 25-ish words. Oh. Uh, no matter how far away you are. Right. I do remember this happening a long time ago. So that's what that was. Right. Okay. Mm. Sure. And That's like I said, my offer about maybe gaining more information about what happened to Thorin still stands. But I understand if you don't want to share too much. Well, in fact, I mean, that was part of my uh, uh, plan was to have you cast whatever magic you can to localize, at least within a certain radius where he would rest, assuming that it is indeed dead. I mean, I can try and maybe I'll get some information. Uh, it, it would help if at least you can tell me some non-personal stories about him. Right. That of course, mm -hmm. I'll tell you information, uh, mm -hmm. of course. But I will uh, don't have the spell prepared, I would need to cast it tomorrow. But I think we all deserve a bit of rest. <laughs> You will yeah. probably need to rest from today as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. Zion nods and looks around. Mm -hmm. Mostly at the cut wounds and a bunch of you. Yeah. We are really one right. that each other. <laughs> she just looks at and says, Sure. I mean, those. Right, um, I would like some time to myself, but should I be of help, or if I remember something that could be important for the causes, then I'll be telling you them post haste. But for the Wait. time being, I would very much like for you, oh. she says, pointing at Tachi, to show me where it, my abode is. And if you need anything from us, we are staying at this location. <laughs> you essentially have that row of houses that's out to the eastern part of the... Exactly. No, sorry, western part of the camp. Mm. Tachi stands up and motions to something that none of you can see at the same, same end of the room where she disappeared earlier. And uh, Saya just looks a bit confused at her. That was not that for a moment ago, was it? Tachi looks at her and says, No, I have recently allowed you to enter, so by all means. Saya looks confused and takes a few steps forward and just vanishes into the same area that Tachi vanishes uh, vanished earlier. Tachi looks at, back at the rest of you. I'll see you soon. Steps in and vanishes as well. None of you see anything but they step into, they just vanish. Whoa. Trippy. Cool. Also, back to the moon thing. Maybe this yeah. is the hooker, but if we went to the moon, wouldn't that be an issue for Ursula? This is... Oh! <laughs> I had a feeling my paper cleared. <laughs> would he just permanently be doggo? Like, I don't know. I don't know what would happen. Maybe that would cure him. <laughs> it's so intense. He just. <laughs> uh, uh, Midori, this isn't. This is just tobacco. I don't know why you're blaming the. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt these uh, silver spots in my ears will be able to fend off that much moon. Mm. <laughs> Should you put the piercing? It's cool. Silver in your ears? Well, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it. it's a way to uh, help deter the turning. Why have we not done that before? Well, he has apparently done this before if it's in his ear. But you have silver in your ear now? I'm like try <laughs> trying to inspect his ears. They're just, they're just silver studs in his ears that he has. Oh shit! Oh, I thought you meant like just blocks of, st of silver in your ears. Like. <laughs> <laughs> really? Do really? you think yeah, it yeah, would help if we put more silver in? <laughs> Let's get him pierced. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's just the piercings all over his body. <laughs> hey, I pierced my own my own septum. Do you want me to do that for you? No, you're fine. What you the sure? hell is a septum? Have you never noticed Midori's got a ring through her nose? Like, oh, that's a septum. Yes. 
No, because your picture on Roll20 is still a fucking crow. Glad <laughs> 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 fixed that. Whoopsie. She never will. I will, uh, when I remember. Why do you do it right now? Never. Okay, I'll do it right now! <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. I was going to say shut up, Corey. No, it wasn't you. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, so... So... Uh, shall we go to sleep? Well, it's not that late. Fair enough. Um... That should be... Right. What's the plan? Are we going to the early? Is okay, that we have two options. Uh, um, or better said, we have a couple of goals. One of the... Either we, uh, closing the scars would be probably one of the big goals. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, we know there are probably two scars around Yanaris, so that is good information. We know that there is a scar at the very deep of our corpse. Mm -hmm. So we could go to the area, then yeah. maybe take a ship from the area to Porto Center and then go ahead to um, the very deep of the corpse. Yeah, seems fine. I, I cool. still have to pick something up in the area, so that would be good. Especially we wanted to find something against charms for you, Kushma. Right, we do need to do that. We. Oui. Then there is... The thing is, uh, Touch is preparing a spell scroll for this cleansing spell for me. But it will take two-ish weeks. So uh, she said okay. it will be ready on the 9th of the next month, and we are at the 26th of the current month. It's a bit of waiting. It's a bit of waiting, so we could either stay here for this one and a half weeks and help uh, wherever, however we can. But I don't know how expensive that is and if we have enough money for it. The, well... But I don't think that it will exceed 200 gold. Am I right in the assumption, John, for a fifth level spell? I so believe sad. you should have in your notes a particular gold value. Well, you about, never about, said. Rather. How much money well, to... I know how much money I would need to inscribe it, but you never told me how much it would need to cost for me to get it from Tachi. Here's right, kind of what I... specify here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go on. Here's kind of what I want to know. <laughs> um, how much do charms cost? Like charm things? Because if we're going to pay for the scroll now, or if we like wait for it. And that's 200 gold you're saying, then we don't have much I don't know. Money. Sean, can I get a better estimate? Nope. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know if we could earn our way in Corrin's Exile or anything, but... Uh, I mean, if we're going to the air, we might as well pick up the charms, because that's probably the best place to get them, right? And uh, we need money to do that. Mm -hmm. I need a, I know I need 25 goals to inscribe the spell in my spell book. But that's also mm. not a time issue. But yeah, we can just get it. I don't know. The only issue is if we head to the area, I don't know when we will return to the exile. That's fucking true, ain't it? Hmm. Yeah. Because I have no way of teleporting us here. But yeah, we could go to the area. Shop for a charm for you. We and need charms also... for everyone but me. I'm, I'm okay. Well, you were the one that wanted it the most. Well, it was to you know deal with you know. I know. I know. Uh, then there is the thing at the, of the free hearts. The one where where there is one in the air, so that's a good idea to go there. Then we have the lead uh, of the Forge of the Creation with the Fire Genasi near Monden. Mm -hmm. And then we know one might have been Yunaris, the Lunar Hearts. Apparently there's some guy that knows me in the area as well. We oui. Who knows of me. Oh. Uh, do you remember the name of that person? Yeah, Storm said it was uh, Timber. Oh, right. Timber. Timber is... A nice uh, tabaxi. 
He's not part of your order or anything? No, I've not heard of him. Yeah. Timber, Timber, I was about to say, Timber for one thing is a female. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know, just knew her name. <laughs> I mean, I could also just send her a message and ask what she knows of you. You could. Mm. Mm. Let me check my spare slots. And if I have sending prepared. I do have sending prepared and I could cast it in Fury twice today. When don't you have sending prepared? Yeah. <laughs> a fair point. I mean, you don't need to waste uh, a spell just to for someone to message because we're going there anyway. Cool, but I could... steps out of the nothingness and just appears in the room again. The nothingness of what? Hmm? What? Um, she steps back into the room and asks, the nothingness of what? As she just interrupts your conversation. Wait, wait. It's fine, we're just uh, deciding on what to do next. Mm. Oh, cool. Don't let me disturb you. He has mm. a bottle in her hand and just pours a bit more wine and one of the glasses nearby. It appears to be Sias and just starts drinking herself while paying attention to your conversation. Like she's amused. So, should we... I mean, would they have useful information? We, it might be good to like know about their intentions beforehand. Whose intentions? Timber. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, we know she might like hate your guts and... <laughs> we have... <laughs> I wouldn't know why, but... The only people I piss off seem to be dead. <laughs> what do we know of, or what is it, what do we know of uh, Timber? Uh, what does she want with you, or how does she know you? I don't remember fully how we learned that. No, just that Storm apparently has this friend that knows of me. That's it. Okay. Should we do it, or and also what we could in theory try doing maybe Uzele you are our alchemist here maybe you can learn how to study or what we could do with the black goo that was extracted from us we should figure out more about it we yeah i might be able to help with my magical knowledge i don't know do you have it on you the tachi has it i think I do indeed. Should I uh, fest fetch it? I think so. Please. Okay. I mean, the so more the up, better. Leaves, disappears in the same corner of the room, so disappeared in repeatedly. Mm. A couple of minutes later, she'll re uh, reappear. Mm. Doesn't seem like there's more conversation, so we'll hop forward a few minutes. It comes back and she mm. produces the vials. Here you go. Push them on the table in front of Uslia. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, these look really strange. <laughs> yeah. They also are unchanged from last time you saw them. They just have that black swirling smoke inside them. It appears to be viscous and gas at the same time. It's kind of weird. I didn't say that was two, wasn't there? Indeed. Yeah. No, there are three, aren't there? She only produces Can I see two. You? Okay. <clears throat> Who's are these ones? <laughs> Even Tachi looks confused. I'm well, not sure. Big from? Is it the big one with Mad uh, from Midori or yeah, other? <laughs> that one is there, yes. The other okay. one okay. is most likely Killer Seal, so you can guess by the amount because it's not exactly full. Okay. Oh, it was Tempest. Okay. The only problem I can see having is the, uh, the one that uh, Tachi tried to get out of Zyra. I am right Seems here. Jeff. I know you're there. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's just that when she tried to contain the one from Zyra, it seemed to just disperse into the air. It seemed like yeah. it wasn't Too much. Very, it didn't have much of a form. Well, specifically, it did actually get contained, but there was just too much of it and the glass broke. Right. So mm. handle with care and don't let this escape. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try. Mm. Good luck. I, maybe I can in the, uh, assist with magical knowledge. I don't know if that would be useful here. 
I mean, any help is help, especially magic. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> Tati jams up at this point. Well, wait, are you going to conduct experiments at my relaxation lounge? No, not here. No. Good. Good. I prefer not. This is the place for, okay. well, chilling. Relaxation. Wait. It's a good lounge, I've got to say. I know, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Mm. Comfy, I guess. What is that? Anything else people want to do today? What time is it? Hmm. It wouldn't be that late. It's maybe three-ish, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean... I recall. No, it would have to be slightly later than that. It's like four or five-ish because of all the walking. Hmm... I mean, have we decided that we're going to the early tomorrow? We're waiting. I don't know. I'm fine, I will be. You wanna flip a coin? <laughs> Does. Who has an opinion about this? About where we go next? We. Or when we go. If we stay here and. Wait for the cleansing spell, or if we go to the area t uh, tomorrow? I mean, I do worry about pricing. Okay, to be fair, <laughs> we can't go tomorrow, because tomorrow I will probably use Legend Lore, and I only... Wait, wait let me check something. No, How you can do get I it have back. till my hit points? Uh, yeah. the... come, you get you can have two fifth levels if you take a short rest. Several weeks. Yeah, I'm checking yeah. that. Yay. Yeah, okay. I could. Okay, I, we could go tomorrow. I could get Legendor and Teleportation Circle off, yeah. So, if we go to... But if we do go to the area, maybe we should do the timber thing as well, or are we not concerned? Definitely. Yeah. What is the timber thing? Chatting Message. with timber. Yeah, find out what she knows. Right, right. We. Oui. But yeah. Um... Yeah, we should keep an eye on Zyra as well. Also, uh, did this count as a short rest? Can we sure. uh, read it? Okay. That's what the room is for, more or less. So, yeah. Yay! I'm assuming, because we got temporary hit points from Tachi last session. Those fade. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. fade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That was nice. <laughs> oh, I need to fix Neo. Long rest for him. Oh, wait, is it a long rest or a short rest? No, short. it's a short rest, but I <laughs> clicked the long rest so that his hit point resetted. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Of course, for companions, it's difficult. Oh, for NPCs, it's difficult to do when I don't have a token to mm. fiddle with the health. Um, right. I did that. Short rest. Do I lose my power searches on long or short rest? I think Tempest long rest. suggests that you may want to keep your eye on Sire. You mm -hmm. misspelled it, but nevertheless, for a day or two. Mm -hmm. To which Tachi says, Oh, that would be quite impossible right now, as she is not even on this plane at the moment. What? Did you take her to your dream happy land? <laughs> In a dream. manner of speaking, yes. Where did you, where's she gone? I thought that was just for us. <laughs> It is, and it will forever be, because I cannot access the same location. It is effectively shut down. No, what I'm referring to is a different type of spell that I'm quite certain that Killers Hill will be learning in the future. One of which <laughs> I have myself, where I have made my home. Mm. Oh, cool. Mm. Well, that's interesting. So I guess he's kind of taken care of then. In a manner of speaking, yes. Okay. I'm taking very well care of. My staff will take care of her. Staff? Yes. Whenever she gets it, Colosseal, and I'm gonna find out what the staff is. Not as in sure. good, as in people. Oh! 
Playing <laughs> and I'm watching the gears turn in Continue, please. I think you've had too much sugar, friend. <laughs> it's just tobacco. <laughs> Does Colosseum know of the spell? Uh, most likely. Okay. <clears throat> There's a pretty decent chance that you heard about your great grandfather. Yeah. I really love that spell. I'm looking so forward to when I have enough power to cast that one. I can only imagine. We still have the alchemical, right? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, but it makes weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mayonnaise. I, mean, I, I think it's in the bag of folding right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Kept so... it, but didn't really do much with it. What mm. should we do now then? Well... Now that we've taken a short rest, we go back and Usulur and I will try to investigate that thing. Mm -hmm. You can help if you want. I'll I try. think Tempest is dead. He hasn't lifted his head in like five minutes. Oh, he's sleeping. He's fine. Should we yeah. just look first? Mallory's well, definitely helping. She needs more uh, practice. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And should we? when should we do the timber thing? Well, after we have done this, so that I know how many spells I have left. Okay. What do I do? Fuck. <laughs> Stand there and look pretty. Wait. Hey, wait. Midori. Hmm? Come to the side a little bit, just for a second. What? Come here, one second. Okay. Um, I was just thinking, the thing that I asked you to make, how is how is he coming along? Because you're gonna have to refresh my memory. <laughs> you better not have fucking forgotten. No. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, shift your eyes. You better not have forgotten. Oh, oh that. Yeah, no, it, it's 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 coming. Along. Yes. Don't yet. How long? Uh, I think I'll have it ready by next session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. Long. All right, I'll, I'll wait patiently. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's all I wanted to ask. Oh, I thought we were having secret time. No, it's, you already. No. <laughs> Go and do your stupid potion shit. Hey, it's not stupid. It's not stupid, I know, I know. It's See. important business. <laughs> <laughs> Jory's like walking away with her hands on her hips, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so leave the room and the rest of you are still sitting around the table preparing yeah. to leave the room. Uh, She's just gone. Are we, are we not going? Oh, this is awkward. I'm just gonna... I'll be you guys <laughs> back at the place. I, I can't stop now. This is weird. Oh. <laughs> we should probably follow. Tachi, it's been a pleasure as always. Indeed. And you know how where to find us if you need anything. Hmm. I do indeed. Good. I'm gonna pick up the half unconscious Tempest and <laughs> you take him to the rooms, you know. Before you leave though, I would like all of you to roll me an inside check on Tachi. Ooh. Not you, Midori, because you left. Oh! <laughs> 21! It's probably not enough, but it's good. Wow! Damn it. That's not gonna do it. Okay. Well, Kelaseel, come with me. Do! I am here Ooh. carrying a wet boy. <laughs> she quit. She... I hate she quit. Tachi seems awfully and completely out of character nervous. Okay. You don't glean much more than that, but she seems like something recently had made her nervous. Which is completely out of character for her, because he's always confident. That's about it. Any questions? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Alright, that's our back. A strong image in mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is completely. Oh, okay. 
you pick up the moist boy, who leaves a little mark behind because of how he complete uh, constantly secretes this sweat like water from him just by you know being a ganassi. It does leave a little mark, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, oh no, that's normal. <laughs> I'm gonna stay behind for a bit, and when the rest have left, I just go to touch you. You okay? Yes, she says hesitantly. What's wrong? Secrets. Hmm. Nothing yet. I do have my concerns about Sai. Hmm. But nothing yet. Because of the lingering effects or something no. else? I dress more in the vein of why was he so useful before even reacquiring Kuyu? <coughs> At which point, by the way, you can give me an insight check. Nope. Yeah, no one. Nope. No idea. Uh, I was wondering something I like this as well. Why they have separated her from Kuyu? Well, it's not necessarily the creatures outside that have done that. There's a decent chance she just didn't have it at the time. Mm -hmm. One would assume that a magical weapon of that magnitude would have been helpful for creating scars, as she puts it. That thing I just described in the, the private room, by the way, continues mm -hmm. to be true. Uh, I yeah. Sorry, I need to take notes. I know, that's why I'm waiting. Um, <laughs> huh. That's... Mm. I mean, I just assumed maybe because she was a beacon, that she was very useful to them. That just the power of being a beacon was enough for creating the scars. And if that is enough for creating scars, we can only imagine now what worse it would have been if she had Kuyo at the time. Indeed. Well, you have things to get to, and so do I. Oui. Oui. So for the time being, I'll see you later. Yes. And please tell us if uh, you learn anything more that's important. You too. She says as she gets up and just vanishes in the corner of the room. Uh, I catch up with the others. Okay. You have left through that large building that you've been in a couple of times, so you quite easily find your way back, go back down the stairs, and out the front. There are no one waiting, you don't see Storm anywhere near, despite that she did actually follow you for a little bit. She seemed to have just disengaged mm -hmm. and understood that she's not really part of this meeting. So, you are outside the building, outside uh, Tachi's headquarters, as it has become and currently awaiting your assembly once more. Mm -hmm. But we should take a break. Yes. And probably decide whether or not we're going to spend the next half an hour continuing, or if we're just going to stop now as another person will leave soon. Making this even I mean, we have an hour-ish. Dep uh, if we're just taking a quick break, I would say let's continue, because right now we are probably only going to do some menial tasks like uh, like the and and shit. And yeah yeah and the sending yeah but and sending and maybe we can get depending that done on time then the legend lore like yeah i mean i don't think my uh sister will be early but i yeah i'd rather be careful but yeah we could have at least another half an hour i reckon or 40 minutes if you said you'll probably leave at 50 after, then we can just plan to stop at 40. Yeah, as long as she doesn't show up early, but I would be surprised if they yeah. did. In other words, we're going to find a timing between 30 and 40. Yeah. yeah. So, for the time being, we will go on break, and then we'll be back and do a bit of... a bit more lore dumping. Yes, all the lore dumping! More recently. A lot of lore. <laughs> well, that happens when stuff happens. Indeed. But for the time being, we will go on break. Yes. Yabby.
Damn it! That was right oh. on. Yes. Okay. Good. We are back. So. Bye, Coco. Ex. Lol. <laughs> I was just, apparently just leaves. <laughs> I was there. Nice to there. No. Uh, okay. So you exit the building where uh, you had a conversation with Tachi and head back to the. Uh, I want to call them chain houses, but I get the feeling that's wrong in English. It's wrong. Terrace house. Uh, like. Uh, row oh. houses. I, I don't Terrace know. houses. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. That's probably what it is. I don't know. But anyway, you will head towards the location where you sleep, which are those. And you do have, I believe, a lot of equipment with you because you scavenged some time ago. So you can easily set up an alchemy lab type situation for mm -hmm. yourselves. Doing so doesn't take particularly long. You can easily do it within a, a decent time frame without it becoming nightfall just yet. And as such, you have Uzlia, who's going to be leading this, because he's the one with the expertise, and helping is Kalaseel and Adorian. Yes. And b before he starts, I want to try something weird and cast Identify on it as a 5th level spell. Oh. Give me a moment, I have to look this up. Yeah, it's a 5th level. Who doesn't let me select fifth level, but... I know. That's uh, just because of how we're trying to this. Exactly. Um, did not expect this to be a thing. Let's go through the book and find the right page. There it is. It is not magical. It's not a magic imbued object. No. Okay, that is fair. It was worth a shot. Well, hang on a sec. Give me a moment to read some stuff here. Choose one object that you must touch throughout the casting. Wait, no, identify works in potions, right? I think so. Sure. I don't know. Because they are all mostly Because arcane. magic imbued. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, uh, by that logic, and as I <laughs> did look for it, it would actually go under the uh, the uh, identification rule set, but mm -hmm. because of it being uh, <laughs> the nature of what it is... No! 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 I rescinded! I don't want to! <laughs> <laughs> Someone Why do I never suddenly. learn? Is the potion a poison by any chance? Why do I never learn? Don't touch crazy! <laughs> I rescind it. I don't want to. You've already done it. It's way too late. I know. But don't worry. I'm not looking for the effects that will happen to you. I'm trying to determine what the name of this would be. It would essentially be a madness-inducing potion. Well, none of us need that, do we? <laughs> Madori, you sure? Madness-inducing potion. Yeah, madness-inducing. I don't need more madness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, that thing's dangerous. I mean, I don't know what I else I expected, but apparently it induces mad uh, madness. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, now it's your turn. I mean... I thought the whole thing was just to find out what it could do, but... I mean, if we kind of I mean, know what it does, I mean, do we really want to make something out of it? I don't know. I don't know. That's Seems it. very high risk if we do. We, oui. Especially as I'm prone to splashing. And that dropping. is quite true. Um, it's probably best that we bring it back to Tachi. Or do we want to keep it? I don't even want to keep it. I mean, Might yeah, be safer probably. in her hands. Yeah, we. I'm surprised if she doesn't know already. Well. Is there anything else that we can research about it? Or, I mean, it just sounds too dangerous to research, to be honest. I mean, I could try and 
discern practical applications of what it could be used for, but again, yeah. dangerous. Dangerous. I think we've all had enough danger Wait, for considering a little Considering Kelsey just put her hand on this thing for a full minute on the glass, that is. It didn't affect yeah. her whatsoever. Yeah, but I only touched the glass. I know. Yeah, and not the actual stuff. <laughs> and who knows what would happen if we open it. I do. Well, <laughs> yeah, God, but you're not gonna tell us until we do it. The last thing I want is Usalir having madness potion in him. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're comfortable, then you can do it and we're here to support you, but if you're not comfortable, I think it's best to give it back to Tachi. And tell her what we learned, the little bit that we did. I think we're asking for something if we uh, meddle oh. with it. It's fine, you can take it back. Okay. Um, I've got other stuff that I can try and sort yeah. out as well. Yeah. You and Midori can do other stuff right now. I'm gonna bring that back to Tachi. Alright. Flying through our office? Yeah. Okay. So should we practice? Well, I have something here that we could try and get a use out of. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have to be the tempest here. So I'll pull out a uh, the the file of uh, the, the the green glitter dust. Ooh. The moonlight butterfly dust. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. What are we gonna do with this? Well, there's a few different applications that could be helpful, such as. It has properties of potentially being able to fly. Um, oh, that could come in handy if we go to the moon, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know how potent it would be if it does, but it has other effects as well. But this is what we're here for and what we can try and make. Okay. So are you ready? Okay, so you gave both vial to kill a seal to fly off with, and you're attempting to make a potion out of Moonlight Butterfly Secretion. Yes. Alright. Since you do not have a target of which effect that you're going for, or at least you didn't mention one, I guess you can still designate a target if you want. Since I you mean, know all, I know, all I know is it's something to do with other flying, uh, potentially a poison against mm -hmm. Fey, and something to do with gas. Exactly. You can choose one of the three to attempt to go for, or you can just let the potion become whatever it becomes. That's up to you. I think I'll I'll see if I can go for the gas. Alright. Since you have yourself a little helper, you can go ahead and roll your... I believe you do have an alchemy check on your character sheet. Uh, I don't know how I would do that. It should be set up as a, uh, should be a, a dexterity with your proficiency. Okay, so you have just it on your sheet. It should be that, but otherwise you can roll whatever dexterity proficiency thing you have, and it'll be the same number. Okay. Um, or dex plus your prof, that, you know. Oh, so I can just. Uh... Yeah, because you're proficient in alchemy supplies, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you don't have a setup on your sheet, you can just roll dexterity and then plus your modifier. Your um, okay. uh, efficiency. That's. Uh, that's 17. out. Yeah, 17. Okay, so 17. Sure. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I'll get back to you in a moment because I need to find the thing first. Yep. Meanwhile, kill a seal. You're flying mm -hmm. about while they're making this particular potion. You actually mm -hmm. do bump into Tachi as she's in her office. As soon as you fly up to the window, you notice that she was writing in something that she immediately discloses and looks at you and smiles. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, uh, I'm here to bring those back. They're a bit too dangerous for us to handle. I did a high-level uh, identify on them and the only property I could uh, distinguish from them is that they are madness inducing, and we thought it best not to open that in case something bad happened. Huh. You know, for some bizarre reason, I was actually half expecting you to make psychedelics out of them. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Nah, we would never do that. 
Oh no, we didn't I'm a wanna bit risk. Poisons, but yeah. Huh. Yeah, but I think this stuff is a bit too dangerous for us. Fair enough. And you would like me to dispose of them, I guess? Dispose of them or keep dead or whatever you think is best with it. Alright. Um, just place them here. I will get rid of them uh, post haste. Okay. Uh, place them there. Okay. Just put them on the table while she's sitting. You can see she yeah. has both her hands over this uh, book that she was engaging with a moment ago. It's mm -hmm. leather bound and it's not marked with anything. Okay. Well, have a lovely evening. I'll be well. flying back now. Whee! <laughs> While it will, under normal rule circumstances, take for fucking ever to make any sort of potion, we'll just jump ahead because it really shouldn't take a million just, fucking years. I'll say as well, sorry, because uh, Madari was helping, is that advantage? Yes. Okay. I completely mm -hmm. forgot. I, I, did I mention it? I mentioned you had a little helper, but I forgot if I yeah. actually <laughs> the advantage or not, but you do have advantage. <laughs> that means a 26. So. Yeah. That's nice. my bad for completely clipping on that. So I forgot as well, so I was just thinking, I was like, hang on, Roos with me. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay. I found what I'm looking for, and I will dump what it is in chat in just a moment. Because it is a potion of gaseous form. Nice. Damn. Ooh. Like that. Where'd you find that? <laughs> Which found <fine name. laughs> Oh, piss butt. Oh. Yeah, you oh don't want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I don't have a monster manual in. Oh, there it is. Not monster manual. Don't do monster skies, but I do have it. There it is. Shut up, bad boy. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know you're head over heels. Cool. Good for you. <laughs> I'm going to put you in your room, and then you can sleep all you want. You have the full dreams about your girlfriend. <laughs> you can see and talk to every day. <laughs> mm. I'm sensing some jealousy. She is totally not evil. Yeah, that's good for you. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> That is the potion you receive. <clears throat> Oops. Nice. A single potion with a <coughs> similar effect of what it says on certain mm -hmm. card. But nevertheless, it completes a bit later after Killer Seal has reconvened with you guys. And, mm -hmm. You know, you're checking in and then going to her own place, as you do have. Well, most of you have your own. Killer Seal and Tempest, I'm assuming, have the same house. Mm hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that concludes that business. At this point, a few hours will have passed and you're getting towards night time. So it will be, uh, well, yeah, night. Did we want to do this ending now? Do you want to wait? I don't mind. Okay, let me It's up to kind of seal, really. Mm. I'm just counting something. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Most, <laughs> good question. I cast, I cast message to Midori. Hey, where are you guys at? I, I'm still with Usla. That is... I will I will just go find you. Okay. Follow the sound of my voice. Literally Marco. next door over. <laughs> Send a message on WhatsApp. Okay. Where are you at? <laughs> okay, I... I have a message prepared. Okay. Uh, tell me if that is to your liking or still there. Um, Galaziel here, hope you're doing well. I heard you know about a half-elf called Uzliel. What do you know about him and how? That yeah. was you asked me. Yeah. Okay. Straight to the point. Yeah, okay. Then I'm gonna send a message to Temba. Uh, Galaziel here, miss you, hope you're doing well. I heard about... Uh, I heard you know about a half-elf called Uzliel. What do you know about him and how? Wait, do you know Timber? I know Timber, yes. Oh, okay. I was like, otherwise, that's weird. 
<laughs> I will watch a couldn't get cast a sending to her. Ah, yes. My also, bad. it's called as a fourth level because I have no further than Sorry, time. these potion fumes have gone to my head a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doris is one of those people who think she gets high on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks slightly off milk, hallucinates for two hours. <laughs> More or less. Drinks fresh water, think it has the same effect as wine, stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> And also happens to be a lightweight drinker. Mm -hmm. So you get a message back, not particularly long after. Oh, hey girl, I don't know this one. Okay. Hmm. She, she said, said she, she didn't know. But she does. According to Storm, yeah, apparently. Wait, should we get Storm? I can't insight check someone I can't hear, can I? <laughs> <laughs> can I insight check over sending? Uh, with disadvantage, sure. She I sounds sus. <laughs> roll big! Roll big! Fifteen! <laughs> That's not bad. I have no idea. I have no idea. You know, the, uh, with the disturbance and stuff like that, it's difficult to ascertain. Maybe you should ask... Storm, maybe she got the taxi wrong? Maybe. maybe. It just seems weird that she would deny it, knowing him. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe she doesn't know Solaris. I, st I Solaris. still have Tempest on my shoulder. Hi, I brought yeah. him here. <laughs> she brought it back to you. <laughs> you know, he, he said he wasn't tired. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I like Tempest. Right. Uh, did not uh, Storm maybe said she heard from someone. Uh, from Timber about someone who looks like you or thought like you or something like Maybe, Maybe it's a member of your uh, thing. Well, Maybe ask if she knows. Uh... Maybe ask if she knows anyone of uh, the order. Maybe. Yeah. What's the order called about? It's the, just the order of blood hunters. Order of blood hunters. Just like describe his appearance and yeah. <laughs> Throw that in. The order of. Okay, Ooh, I'm just gonna say. Are you looking for Storm or are you sending another sending? We are not looking for Storm. Okay. Um, okay, I only have one sending today left. So the okay. question is do I send. Uh, sorry. Do I send to Timber? Or I was also planning to sending one of my uh, mentors in the area uh, to ask if we are allowed to teleport towards the area. But I could also do that on the day that we're teleporting, so... Seems like we do it on the day. Yeah. Let me... Uh, that's for later then. Hmm? I'm just notes. I need <laughs> to uh, plan this out. Another sending. Uh, what do we want to know? What do... What do you know about the... What do you say? Blood Hunters? Order of Blood Hunters. Oh, I mean, maybe order. describing what I look like might um, help as well. Hunters? Because if oh, it's someone right. that apparently looks like me. Mm. Okay, how would you describe yourself in 25 words or less? Who's the latest dating profile? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Likes long walks, playing <laughs> fetch. <laughs> Half elf, orange eyes. Um, he's a good boy. Wolfie. Grey hair. Uh, maybe questionable scars, I don't know. Weird veiny neck. Um, questionable <laughs> scars. <laughs> Wainy neck. <laughs> Wainy neck. I mean, I guess it's not super, like, obvious, but, like, if you've got a good look at someone, you, you can see it. Do you hide it, or is it, like, I mean, I, I think, no, you don't hide it, do you? Well, I mean, on the picture that you've done, it's, like, peeking through, so you wouldn't mm. be able to see it. Yeah. Okay, I have three more words. Um, is good boy. No. <laughs> um, like a hundred or something. Slightly doggish. Uh, how old are you? Over a hundred, right? Yeah. Um, 
maybe mention quickly at the end, just say, Blood Hunter. Perhaps. <laughs> That's a end, big... <laughs> end the sentence, Blood Hunter. <laughs> That's a big clue. Maybe we should have involved that earlier. Is Blood Hunter one word or two? Two. Damn it. <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hello? I thought Blood Hunter was one word. Could we, we say like Blood Hunter? Blood Hunter. Okay, I've exactly 25 words. My okay. question would be how about the order of Blood Hunters? Description of Usilia Half Elf, over 100 years old, uh, over 100 years, orange eyes, long grey hair, fashionable scars, weeny neck, Blood Hunter. Wait, we said blood hunter, blood hunter yeah, twice. Yeah, you already said blood hunter, then it's fine. Well, I said the, uh, about the order of blood hunters. Well, but... no, no, we can we can make they can assume, right? Maybe, but I have yeah. when I have the words, I can use the words. Unless you we want could just two like, words in there, we could say cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help, though. <laughs> he cool dude. <laughs> he... Let's just yeah, let's just go with that one. That okay, seems... sure, sure, it's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna send my last sending for the day. How about the order of to Timber again? Okay. Sorry. How about the order of blood hunters? Description of Usulia: half elf, over hundred years, orange eyes, long grey hair, questionable scars, veiny neck, blood hunter. He's not gonna think you're cool, or they're not gonna think you're cool, but still. Oh damn it! <laughs> it's okay. You you are cool in our eyes. Thanks. Mm. You get a message back. Shortly thereafter, from Timber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey again, girl. No. <laughs> Ian Mia is the only one who fits that description. But not uh, really quite. Yin Mia. You know the guy. Yin. Okay. Yin Mia Aries, in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that. Wait, what does I? I'll start over. Mm -hmm. That kind of disrupted my uh, thoughts. Sorry. Uh, okay. We collected my thought, give me a second. It'll be, oh hey girl. The only person vaguely uh, familiar to that description would be Yinmir. But not the physical one. He's too tasty. Wait a minute. <laughs> ah, so he's a cool guy. I'm gonna look at, <laughs> wait, uh, do you lead a double life? Are you lying to us? Is your name Yinmir? You didn't hear any of that yet. Oh, wait for I wait for Kalathil <laughs> to repeat what she said, and then I say those words. Well, you mentioned that you're the only person that fit that description was Yinmir, but in my mind, Yinmir looked quite different. Huh. I mean, the missing wings are something to go by. Who's Yinmir? Uh, one of my teachers. Are you your man? <laughs> just Is he a cool guy? I whispered to Madori, you should see him in shirtless. Oh. But she's taking it. Oh. Me. Just having like that curly moment of like giggling and like whispering to each other. Like, he. <laughs> what could he do? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. So, okay. do you know who Ymir is, Susila? I'm guessing not. No, no idea. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You do remember that you have submission on you, right? Yes. Okay, no. so you know its effect? Yes. No. <laughs> Gives me advantage, right? You do not know its effect. <laughs> uh, fuck. I'm getting, it, I'm getting that the mark confused all the time. The mark doesn't do anything in this context. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> eventually. So much hope. You have disadvantage on this inside check is what I'm getting at. Oh. Fuck. Oh well. Doesn't change anything for this particular ordering of the roles, but nevertheless. And you also don't claim anything. 
Mm. <laughs> I just thought I'd give it a try. That's fair. Um, well, we can try more sendings tomorrow. I could ask her if she's in the area soon. Maybe we can catch up with her. I mean, if we're going to the area anyway, then... We. Um, we should we ask Storm more about this? Because this is weird. I was thinking that, yeah. Mm. To Storm! <laughs> Ten more minutes of conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. You exit the row of houses that you have. Securely not quite locking them behind you because they don't have locks per se. But you nevertheless leave towards the northeastern part of the camp where you have seen uh, Storm on a couple of occasions and I'm pretty sure that she has her own little base. While you are on the lookout out there for her, you find out that that is not the case. She does not uh, live up there per se. She actually lives in a smaller hut that is to the northern side of the big lake that is in the center of Corn's Exile as a whole. Not secluded per se, but just kind of on her own, chilling near, one, near the water side. Does appear to have a little dock where she can fish from, but other than that, it's just a nice little abode. Not secret either. People immediately tend to know where she is. Like, where's where's she? And people just point your direction, in that direction rather, not your direction. So you arrive at the place. Quite quickly, find out the door to there is just, you know normal wood. Knock on it for a moment and politely take a step back. It's like seconds before she arrives. She has a plate with her, holding it out in front of her, on her flat hand, seemingly she's in the middle of her dinner. Yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, um... Oh. Hi. Just a quick question. You mentioned that Timba no might know Usulia. Hold this. She gives you the plate. I hold this. She walks back in, comes out a moment later with a fork in her hand, closes the door after her, takes the plate from your hands. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're outside the, the house. Yes, I know Timber. What about it? Starts eating. Yeah, you said Timber knows Usulia. I did? Yeah, you did. Well, all I really know is that Timber mentioned something that sounded quite familiar to what he is. I didn't mean to say <laughs> that she knew of Usulia. Uh, what did she mention? Uh oh. She? You mean Timber? Yes. Well,. I guess the connection that you're grasping at here is that Timber referred to the uh, the Black Hunters that uh, Yinmia up there is part of, and I just make the connection that they sounded quite similar to what Usli does. Oh. Have I oh. heard of Black Hunters before? <laughs> yes, most certainly. Okay, what the, are Black Hunters? It is essentially the, the order that Yinmia is from and leader of when it comes to the area itself, and his particular fighting style, fighting style rather, is part of it as well. Mm -hmm. A fighting style that your uh, in-game mother would be quite jealous of, <laughs> in nice. certain capacities. Would Usulea know of Black Hunters? It's unlikely, but not impossible. Go ahead and roll me a history check with disadvantage. Is there another type of Blood Hunter? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. You are fairly certain that you've heard something in that vein, like Hunters of the Watch, but nothing really specific about it. Like, it was stories from old times where it was a thing. Stuff like that. Okay. Stories passed down by travelers. Things you can't really be sure of. But, um, I'm sorry if I make it seem like Timber knew Osilia in person. That wasn't my intention. Well, probably just our notes being a bit weird. Oh, it's good that we cleared it up. Right. Just smiles while still eating fish. Or I did. I got any more questions? I don't think. Well, I don't, uh, uh, at least. No, sorry for uh, interrupting your meal. Yeah. Sorry for con the confusion. <laughs> mm. It's fine, I guess. No, I'm really done. I was nearly done anyway. Evening. <laughs> it looks a bit awkward that you're all like, eh, you're at my house, lol. Eh, gig. <laughs> I think Bye. we should go. <laughs> yes, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank Great. 
just wait for you guys to leave and then she enters the house again. <laughs> very, very awkwardly, just sort of stands there eating the fish, looking at you guys. Great, okay, bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. So. What now? I mean... I'm... There's not time in the day to go train. I mean, I could spar with you with Sule, but... Just be for like an hour or so. I think rest is needed, to be fair. Yeah, you did get kind of beat the fuck up, actually. I'm still not 100%. So the, so the temple. Yeah, that, I should just... probably put him in his room, actually. Look, look at it this way, you'll get more cool scars to add to your collection. Yep, yeah, sadly will be. Took but don't worry, I think they look pretty cool. Well, thanks, coming from you. Why coming from me? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we should probably go get some sleep anyway. I just turned on to Kasu. What did he mean by that? I don't know. Hmm, that was strange. <laughs> Inside check note. <laughs> right, uh, to bed then. From top left corner. Midori will remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but where is she? No. <laughs> Taking mental note. <laughs> and it's gone. I'll save this with my abilities. <laughs> I'll get them. The carousel music starts playing in her head. <laughs> <laughs> so, you head back to your uh, housing, your abodes, and we will conclude as you guys will go to bed. And oh, we will start at the next morning after a long rest, as nothing will disturb Yay. you during the night. Mm. Cool bean. Of <laughs> We have to end right, because you're going, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. fairly early today because of weirdness. <laughs> said short. So many things. Because of life. Life happened, apparently. Yeah. Mm. How dare it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doggos need looking after. Um, it's good doggles, so it's fine. Yeah. Fuppers. <clears throat> Next session is session 40, guys. Ooh! Ooh. 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 Oh. And we will oh. celebrate this by maybe teleporting. <laughs> Goodbye, Tempest. <laughs> First time teleporting. I carried Tempest. The, the whole game. Time. You literally yeah. carried him the whole game. <laughs> yep. Not much as could have been done, really, under these yeah. circumstances since. All the weirdness of time zones oh, and whatnot. He's back! Mm -hmm. Let me just chill. Me and him. DC, apparently. Two amigos just <laughs> walking around. Like you do. Watch them do alchemy for a bit. Just kind of chill as they spoke to Storm. Can't do alchemy, so I don't know what I do. Yeah, the downside of being a barbarian in any campaign. What do you do when it's not combat and exploring? Well, I was gonna like. <laughs> that was a you find combat. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> gonna spa Tempest with his like 10 HP. <laughs> Come on, you and me, let's do this. One hand behind my back. <laughs> Slap him once and he goes unconscious. Ah, uh, again, fuck. More or less, anyway. <laughs> I use him as a spear, I guess. Ah. A ram, actually, would be a good thing. Find the nearest door, try to open it with his face. Mm. <laughs> Anywho. Nice little car there in the background, as we finish. Honk, Perfect. Honk. Oh, something bigger. Anywho. That is it for the time being. For those of you out in Streamland, thank you for watching. It is appreciated. But we will be leaving now, returning next Saturday, and as far as I'm aware, there will be nothing interfering with time or date. At the yes. uh, time. Yes. So, we'll be leaving. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.